It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. Ever wonder what makes a company stand the test of time and emerge as a global powerhouse? Well, let's step back. Let's take a look at LG, the tech giant that's been shaping the world since its very humble beginnings. All right, picture this. It's the post-war Korea, and a small company starts with nothing but determination and these big, big dreams to really succeed. And that's the story of LG, really born out of the ashes of war of 1947. Did you know, and this is an interesting fact, did you know that LG's journey began with products as simple as cosmetics and toothbrushes? Yep, that's right. Now here's where things get really exciting, by the way. LG didn't just stick to one thing, nope. They embraced diversification, they embraced innovation, um, like the pros, and from radios to TVs to air conditions to mobile phones, LG just kept pushing the boundaries and exploring new territories. So how does this relate to you to say LG, my ass, obviously? Well, think about it. Just like LG's success depended on its sales strategies and its sales systems, it also required it to be flexible and a willingness to adapt to a changing market and the customer needs. So what's my big takeaway for you? Having a solid sales system in place, whether you're a startup or a seasoned business, having that sales system or that sales strategy, and it requires the sales leadership, is really the driving force behind increasing your sales, being profitable, and having more really meaningful impact in people's lives. Remember, just like LG, you got to be willing to innovate, be diversive, and at the end of the day, strive to solve big problems. You do that, and you will see your sales go up, 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 and away. With that being said, welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. My name, by the way, is Che Brown. I'm excited to be here with you. Now, every morning, we start off with our mantra. And I always share this important, just like in life, you probably have a philosophy, you have a mantra, you have something that drives you every single day. Maybe it's your affirmation when you woke up. What well, affirmation for a CEO for their sales organization, I'm not talking about the whole company, just for the sales organization is, if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Let me explain why. Because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money going out than there is coming in. So sales is really serious business. And that's one of the reasons why we start off every morning with these words. Go ahead and repeat after me. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. I know it sounds silly, but go ahead and repeat that right now. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. We also have a pledge. So I believe every morning after you do a mantra, when you get up, you have a pledge to yourself. Maybe you tell yourself you're going to be healthy. Maybe you tell yourself you're going to focus today. Maybe you have priorities. Maybe you write in your gratitude journal. For us as a CEO, I believe we have a pledge to our sales organization. And this is for the sales organization, our pledge every single morning is I must learn, earn, and return. So let me go ahead and share that with you. And I want you to repeat after me. I have to learn something new in order to earn new revenue from existing clients in order to get new and old clients to return. I must learn, I must earn, and I must what? Return. Now, we have a couple objectives every single morning we get to, when we get together. And our number one objective is really to focus on the sales organization. Uh-oh, hit the wrong button here. Let me go here. Do, 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 there we go. There we go. Objectives. It's sales progress. It's addressing roadblocks. And it's always stepping back to tune in to the five pillars that every CEO needs in order to grow and be profitable. And, and I pause every morning and do that because I want to be top of mind to you. Pillar number one is a one-page CEO sales plan. Now, it makes sense to have a plan, not a revenue goal, but a plan that has the sales strategies, the sales systems, and the sales funnels that it's going to take in order for you to have the structure in your business to really achieve your revenue goals. Number two, and if you don't have a CEO sales plan, you can head on over right now to www dot ceo sales plan dot com once you get there you can download a one page ceo sales plan number two 
pillar is a sales cycle. So we understand the cycle that the clients go through from the time we connect with them to the time we communicate with them all the way until the time they convert. Pillar number three is our sales messaging. What are the words that we're saying? from the sales department that speaks to the problem that our target audience have and not only speaks to the problem but how we're going to solve it that's our job to share how we're going to solve it number four sales pillar is the ceo dashboard we call it sales indicators and so we have a ceo sales dashboard because scoreboards matter the numbers matter i mean can you imagine if you were a ceo and you're going out there now and you want to have someone invest in the business What's the first thing they're going to say? Not what is the revenue. They might say, what do the sales look like? What are the indicators that are driving the business? And so we have a CEO dashboard. We're getting to that. There's only five indicators. And then number five sales pillar that every CEO needs to know in order to learn and grow is a sales team. Now, that's obvious, I know, but you'd be surprised. I mean, folks, do not focus on the sales team. All right. Every morning, I love to connect with you. So if you're out there and you're watching now and you can see me, maybe you're on one of our social media platforms and you can write this, look right below the video and put hashtag I'm here. Hashtag I'm here. I want you to tune in. I want this to be a conversation that we're in. I get a chance to see you so you can see me, but I can't see you and you can be a place where other CEOs are. Also look right below the video if you're watching the replay. I, I want to acknowledge you. Maybe you can't make it at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Cool. No worries. Go ahead and hit the word hashtag replay. Let us know you're here. Tune in. And for all those folks that are online right now, you're on one of the on-demand streaming platforms. Thanks for tuning in. If you're on Amazon, if you've downloaded the podcast, um, if you're on Roku or Apple TV or wherever platform that we're syndicated on right now, do me a favor. Hit on over to at I am Jay Brown and let's connect. At least say I'm in the conversation. Let me know what we can do to add more value to you as a CEO Thanks for tuning in, by the way. We really appreciate it. The CEO Sales Huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. So, yeah, I know you can sell. I know you're good. You wouldn't be the CEO. But how do we do it faster, with less effort, quicker, with speed? Number two, we have three objectives every morning we get together. Our number one objective we get together is about sales growth sales accountability and sales consistency you may have heard this before consistency is the key consistency is the key and what do most people struggle with is consistency we only ask for 15 minutes a day that's it 15 minutes a day there are 1440 minutes in every day so you're going to share 15 minutes of your time here with one outcome our number one outcome is a hundred thousand dollars plus a month over and beyond whatever you're earning today of consistent predictable, reliable revenue. Got it. You can do that. And the sales is the number one way to do that. Now we get to the most important part that we do every single morning. And I say every single morning because when you tune in sometimes, you might be thinking, oh, Shay, I heard that before. Shay, I know that before. But I want you to tune in right now because this 15 minutes, you, as a CEO, you have so much going on. So this 15 minutes allows you to tune back in and say, look, what do I need to do? There was a problem in the planet Folks need to know, how do I measure my sales organization? What are the indicators I should be looking at? I've got the software, Shay. I've got all the apps. I've got all the coaching. I've got all the books. I've got all the YouTube videos. I got everything I need, except the money just isn't there. Or I'm doing really, really well. I'm, I'm putting the pedal to the metal right now, and I need to do it faster, better, with less effort. Well, we created the CEO sales dashboard because we understood there's only five metrics that you need to review every single morning so the scoreboard matters it's like you stepping on a scale in the morning if you you know focus on your weight you step on a scale every single morning that number matters so you can download the ceo sales dashboard over at ceo sales huddle.com we're going to open it up right now so do me a favor if you, if you don't have it i mean again can you imagine you're in your business right now you're busy you have so much going on you're like shay i haven't had time to create my ceo sales dashboard here's the good news you don't have to do it because you're here, you showed up. And, and they always say part of life is showing up. That's not true. That's just a teeny part. Part of life, you, you, it might be like 10%, so you're here. Now you take the next step. That's what moves the needle. So go over to CEOSalesHuddle.com right now if you have it. Download the CEO Sales Dashboard. Once you have it, you have it here in front of you. Now, 
Some of you are doing this. You already have filled it out. I know. Congratulations. Uh, I love getting the comments. If you haven't connected, you can shoot me a note over at, at I am Che Brown. Woo! You've got yours done. Or some of you assigned it to your assistant. Or some of you assigned it to someone on your team. They fill this out for you. And some of you, you're doing this right now. If you're a sales manager or sales leader, you may be doing this right now. Download it. Go over to the top. And you go all the way across to the top. top and you look at today's date. And then come down today's date. And look and say, okay, I got leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. And you go in and you, you, you can go in and share the numbers. How many leads came in? How many appointments were there? How many offers did the team make yesterday? How many deals did we close? Which ones are in pending status? And not only look at yesterday's results, but go back and look at the last week. Seriously. No, I mean, okay. Some of you go back and look at the last 30 days. See the trend. And then this allows you to understand. I, I don't tell stories on here, but many times... When I'm talking, I'm, I'm sharing with the CEO, look, the sales organization only needs three main things to be successful. We need people, we need processes, and we need tools. Now, this allows you to understand where you're going to allocate your resources for your department. Now, today we're going to do a deep dive in one area. We're going to go deep in uh, repeat business. Okay, now, let, me, let me pull that up, repeat business. Now, you can go into any of these categories. And as you go into the categories, you can go ahead and change that yourself, which would be pretty cool. And you can add, subtract, and adjust to it because it's an Excel sheet. But today, let's go look at repeat business. You might be saying, Shay, why is this important? It's obvious, but I want to share this with you. You go down to repeat business. You look at the results yesterday and how many sales were made for that, that a current client purchased a new product that you may have offered. We just did a case study that showed a company that offers new products, Okay. Why is this important? Well, we know that 80% of every dollar that we spend in, in the company is geared towards getting new customers. Got it. So if I have an opportunity to save that money and I can generate revenue, now revenue doesn't grow the business. Revenue just grows the revenue, okay? Someone's measuring your company. They're measuring how many new clients are coming in because that's that's truly growth in the market. But anyway, that's revenue that comes in. So, so put that number down. You may have never done this before because maybe you've never been in a conversation with someone at my level that's doing exactly what we're doing now. And here's the good news. You can do this. Okay. Then take a look at yesterday's results. Now, some of you have been following. Some of you have been part of CEO Sales Saddle. Every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you're looking at the trend over the last 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Now, how many, new, how many current clients purchase a new product? So a new product might be if I'm an, I'm an Apple, I believe God is a woman <laughs> and I believe she has an iPhone. Um, if I have an iPhone and I go buy a, a MacBook Pro, then that is a new product. A existing product might be I have an iPhone and I go out and I purchase um, the, the, a protector for it or I purchase um, a, a cover for it. That's an existing product. And this is important. The sales organization is not only focused on bringing in new revenue, but oftentimes they're also working with existing clients. So why is this in the sales organization? Because if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. It's our number one belief for any CEO. And so now we're going to go look at a category that some of you might have different type of categories. Um, I want to add for this one, membership. Some of you have monthly recurring revenue that comes in. Some of you have subscription programs. Some of you have members of your organization or members of some type of program you have and they pay a monthly amount. So take a look at that number now. How, many, how much revenue came in yesterday? This is revenue. Now, I did have one client that took revenue and then they put number of clients there. So they're tracking number of clients in their membership and the revenue that comes from that membership. Cool. It's whatever works for you. Here's what I do know. What gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. And very seldom in any area of life and or business that when you measure something, it gets worse. I will say this. Many times when you don't measure it and you don't manage it, it doesn't get better as fast as you would like it to. Okay. So subscribe first to the philosophy. What gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. Just like the case study we did this morning, expand your comfort zone. Introduce the CEO sales dashboard. It doesn't exist anywhere else on the planet. It was created specifically for CEOs. We created it because we had a problem and we've been using it for a number of years. And now we're offering it to you. And here's the good news. You just go over to CEO sales You can download it. You don't have to do that. This is okay. 
but I'm going to highly recommend it. Now, once we've gone through the CEO sales dashboard, I like to step back and I like to acknowledge any wins that we have. And say, like, you do it every morning. Why do you why do you want to do the wins? Because sometimes when you're successful, you know, we don't slow down to celebrate. We 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 get we get a win and we're off to the next one. And that's OK. But many times we just need to slow down. Look at the sales organization. What are you most proud of in the sales organization yesterday? Like you look at yesterday's results in your sales organization or you can look at the look at the last week. What was your biggest accomplishment over the last week in the sales organization? What do you want to brag about right now in the sales organization? See, in many times as a CEO, we may not stop to do that because we have so many things going on. But I start every morning and I'm going to reemphasize now our core philosophy and our core philosophy in every company, every CEO should have a freaking core philosophy. And ours for every CEO is if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Because here's why sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money going out. It's just pouring out than it is coming in. So selling is serious business. I don't have to remind you of that, but this is why we celebrate any wins that the sales department have. But then we also step back and we look at the other side. And we say, wait a minute, the world's not cupcakes, unicorns, and rainbows. It's just not a, a, a big happy time. Let's take a look at this. What was our biggest roadblock in the sales organization yesterday? And what's preventing the sales organization today from moving forward? You're measuring the numbers. You're looking at the key indicators. You've, you've got your pulse. You're focusing on sales. And third, what's the one thing that you could do as the CEO that if you did it, it would move that needle forward and you could take that step, not just show up. Again, people say, oh, it's just about showing up. It is not just about showing up. You can show up at the gym and nothing happens. You don't put the reps in. You don't eat the right food. You don't follow the nutrition plan. Nothing happens. You just go to the gym and you feel good and that's, that's, that's okay. But what if you put in the reps? What if you, you measured how many reps you were doing and how many times you were doing it? What if you could do that and all it takes is that little step? And that's where it makes the difference. You show up, that's important. I'm not saying it's not important. Don't, don't say me no, please say, Jay, it is important. No, it's very important. But you know what's even more important? It's taking massive action. And so my message to the day, for almost where we are in the month and in the year right now really is, take massive action. The universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. And in many cases, it's never about what you know it's not about what you heard. It's not about what you read. It's not about what you teach. It's about what are you doing every single moment of every single day. Focus on the one area in your business, the only area, which is sales organization, that brings in revenue for the company. At least take this 15 minutes. It only has 15 minutes. You've got a lot of things doing. I'm not trying to spend a whole day on it. But in this 15 minutes, seriously, um, slow down. Focus. Allocate the resources, the people, the processes, or the tools that we know you, we, we, we're screaming for in the sales organization. Allocate that and then let the organization do what it does best, which is drive revenue that allows you to purchase all the resources everyone else needs to execute the big vision that the company has for the people it was called to serve. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve you this morning. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. Um, I'm looking forward to connect with you. I know that you are a successful CEO, okay? Um, I know that you're already amazing. I know you're a game changer or you wouldn't be in this world of entrepreneurship, in this world of small businesses, in this world of driving organizations. You are just a super over the top leader that is loved. Maybe you're a servant leader. Maybe you're a trusted leader. Whatever they call you these days, you're someone special. And I believe for you as you're watching, the best is still yet to come. Today is your January 1st. You get a fresh start. The best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. With that being said, my name once again is Che Brown, the happy entrepreneur and host of the CEO Sales Huddle. I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for tuning in. God bless. And above all, Keep doing God's work. Peace.